guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a fashion haul. This is actually kind of a collective haul. I didn't buy everything in one go. I kind of have accumulated these things over a period of time. I went shopping on ASOS, which is, I feel like ASOS is like my YouTube, my YouTube go-to for hauls because I first, I think my first ever ASOS haul was put on YouTube like that was like one of my first videos and that was the first time that I had ever shopped from the website now I'm still shopping there like six years on so I bought some stuff just like for winter time and I just felt like I needed some more like basics in my wardrobe as well this is a cream like wool very kind of fine knit wool uh, turtle or polo neck it's kind of a bigger like polo neck as well which I like I'm also wearing my Scorpio necklace outside of it because I want it to be visible and I think it's kind of cool how it like sits like this it's just basic cream wool and very very fine knit wool but it's still cozy at the same time it's ribbed a little bit as well this is by a brand called Ganny it also has big slits at the sides I'm gonna put a picture up of how I'm wearing it today I really really like this it's really cozy I just wanted like a nice big cream polo neck for winter times. The second thing I'm also wearing are these diesel combat jeans or combat trousers. Yeah, they're more trousers than jeans. This is my leg. <laughs> this is what they look like, but they've got this like slit at the knee, which I'm, I can't figure out if I like it or not. It's got the pockets on the side, so they're proper like combats. And I really, really wanted combats for ages. I wanted these ones by I think they were by either the current Elliot or Seven for All Mankind, I can't remember. And they're sold out like everywhere in my size. These I got in a size 26 and they fit, like I would say they fit pretty well. Like I'm usually in between a 25 and a 26 and these fit like a glove. Like you would not want it to be any bit smaller. They're not tight on me. Like when I sit down, I'm still comfortable, but I would say I probably wouldn't eat Christmas dinner in these. If you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a shirt. I got a lot of shirts because I've been getting so many comments like every time I wear a flannel shirt or a check shirt people are always like you look so good in them you should wear more so I kind of went out and got a few more because I just always get really good feedback whenever I wear a flannel shirt for some reason. This is by Tommy Hilfiger and I got this in a size extra small and it's kind of like a it's very very soft it's lovely it's like a navy or like dark blue and a kind of olive or like dusty green i feel like this would actually look good with these uh trousers as well i got two no three bobble hats actually if you saw my instagram with lucy <laughs> recently i loved her bobble hat she was wearing one when we were training one day so i copied her and this is the one that i got this was by whistles and this is what it looks like i just wanted to get beanies and i love the little fur lucy's had a fur bobble it's not real fur obviously but you know i just think it's really cute for winter time a gray one from esprit love this one as well so i'm just gonna put all of them on they probably look really bad on me, but I just think they're cute. And I love the furry bubble on this one. This is more like chunky. They're both quite chunky, but this is a little bit more. And then here's the third one. This is by Ted Baker. And I think I saw these last year. I love the fur on this. It's really fluffy. I don't know if I can put this on because of the label, but I will try. And that's what that one looks like. It's a little bit floppier. I love these, they're so cute. Going along with the theme of like winter wear and winter accessories, I got some chunky scarves or like oversized scarves because I've been following a lot of like fashion bloggers and stuff lately and they seem to always have like a big scarf on and I just think it looks so nice. I got this one from Moschino, it just says Boutique Moschino and it's grey. I love this one. Just really big oversized, like this is it folded over so you can imagine like how much scarf there is. Really soft wool and I love it. This will look really good with the um, gray hat. And then this one I absolutely adore. I love the colors in this. This is real cashmere as well so I felt like this would last a really long time. And it's all the colors that I wear. Like all the kind of earthy tones, the neutrals, 
It's got grey and beige in there and like cream and stuff and brown. This is from Paul Smith. Next thing is another chunky cardigan because you guys know that I love them. So this is from Abercrombie. I got it in size extra small but it is quite big so it's quite like big fitting. I already got another cardigan from Abercrombie which has more of a print on it and it's got greys in there but this is just plain cream. <sighs> I love winter fashion, it's so nice. Another check shirt, this is also extremely soft. This is like a proper flannel shirt and it's by Levi. This I got in a size extra small. Okay, this is really weird. I don't even know what this is or where this comes from. I think this is supposed to be a polo neck but it's one that you can detach. I'm not really sure. The jumper that it goes along with is this one, Sunku by Sunku. I got it in size one and it's just a plain wool black jumper. I had a wool black jumper last year and it got shrunk in the wash. It got shrunk, it got, it shrank in the wash. It shrank, it shrunk, I don't know. It got smaller. I think this is just detachable polo neck because I don't remember buying this, oddly enough. But I do think I, I got a polo neck, so I don't think I realized that it was detachable, but anyway. I got some basics, like I said. So, <laughs> I realized this looks tiny. <laughs> um, I am not this tiny, but it stretches, you know? It's one of those, like, fitted, like, fitting ones. So this is my Tommy Hilfiger. I got it in a size XS, again, and it's one of those just, like, buttoned down. There's a word for these, like, I cannot remember what they're called, but there is a word for them. Maybe, it, oh, Henley, that's what it's called. I thought I'd get that to wear inside of like the shirts or just to wear in general, like on their own. It's just good to have like basic long sleeves. Cause what I noticed after I stopped breastfeeding is that I don't have a lot of basics anymore. They were all breastfeeding clothes. Like all of my tank tops, all of my long sleeve t-shirts were all breastfeeding. Next up is another shirt. This is from Fred Perry. And it's a more kind of like, tartan check shirt so it's got grays and reds and blues and the yellow in there this i got in a size six which i'm usually a size eight like a uk size eight but they didn't have an eight and actually it's quite big so it's all right but usually i would not be a six i'd be an eight zoe is six <laughs> i'm an eight something i got which is like not really usually my style but i thought i'd just kind of go out on a on a whim and buy it and see what happens. I don't know. I could hate it, but I don't know. Like, I could really like it. It's by the brand Free People, which is a quite an expensive brand, but like they have good quality stuff. It's just, it's more like hippie, like bohemian kind of style. So it's not so much my style, but they do have some really nice stuff. This is a top and it's kind of like a peasant top. I don't know, I got it in a size small. It looks big, it looks really massive. And it's kind of flowy and it's got like lace on it. And I just thought this might be nice to wear like oversized over leggings or like maybe over skinny jeans or something. I might like it or I might hate it, I don't know yet. I've got a Christmas jumper. I feel very like festive. This is from Super Dry. Again, it's big, like it looks, it fits big. And it's got these like gems on it like sequins, gems, and it's just really festive and fun, but at the same time, it's a bit more toned down because it's gray, so it's kind of my style, because I love gray, if you guys didn't already know. I got this shirt, which I'm not really sure if I like. It's by the brand Rolaz. <laughs> it's probably like Rolaz, not Rolaz. <laughs> Rolaz, it came rolled up, and I got it in a size six or a size extra small, which I kind of like it though. Like, I do like it, it's just, it feels like cheap quality, but it's not. Like, it was kind of expensive. Well, I can't remember if it was that expensive. It's not that the quality is bad, I think it's that it's painted on. So like the tartan or the check shirt print is painted on. I think it would be kind of cool though, like over just a plain top to wear like loose and like you can roll up the sleeves and it might be kind of trendy that way, like kind of cool with blue jeans, but 
I don't know, it just doesn't feel as nice as I kind of as the other ones. Got this denim shirt, which I absolutely loved on the website, even though I have way too many blue shirts. Like, I need, I seriously have a problem. Like, when I wear a blue shirt in these videos and the background is blue, I'm like, I seriously have a problem. But this was so cute, I couldn't pass it up. It's by the same brand, Rollers. And it is seriously cute, guys. It's got the fringing like here at the back so it's kind of like a cowboy i need cowboy boots i just think this would look so cute like rolled like tight at the waist with like jeans or even with this um the khaki combats that i'm wearing so cute next thing was from wild fox which is a brand that i really like i actually really like their pajamas and stuff they're quite expensive too but their quality is amazing like their quality of their cotton is just so amazing and I think it's all made in America as well. It's in the size extra small but it's baggy and it says Beverly Hills Vacation and it's just a simple tee, like oversized t-shirt. Next thing is the Henley that I showed you in black. I also got it in white. So again, it looks tiny. <laughs> I like how the stitching is in the Tommy Hilfiger blue and red. I think that's very it's a very nice touch, it's a very nice detail. Also got another Henley from Free People, which is the Bohemian brand I mentioned. And this is a bit looser, but it's in cream, and it's in an XS. Last but not least is something that I kind of like took a risk with, because I've noticed a lot of people, again, like I said, I follow some bloggers out there, um, who I feel like are a lot more stylish than me. Like, I feel like they have a reason to dress up, but I kind of don't because I'm like a stay-at-home mom. Like, I don't really know <laughs> what I have to dress up for. But I noticed that a lot of them were wearing capes and that capes are really in right now. And I just think they look nice. I got this one in a kind of like Aztec, is this an Aztec print? I'm not really sure. I liked it because it had like the blues and the kind of like, um, oh, what would you call this color? Old brown, <laughs> I don't know. It's like a brown that's been like tinged with mustard. That's what I would call it. And if I can just show you kind of what it looks like. So that's the back of it. How I think I would wear this, it's fringed as well, by the way. But how I think I would wear this is like with a belt. So I think I would probably put this on and then cinch it with a skinny belt and that would probably give it a bit more structure so that I don't look like a drowned rat in it. So that's everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out pictures like on my blog and my Instagram and stuff to see how I styled everything because I'm obviously going to be wearing all of this stuff in the next coming weeks and months and I will talk to you. Oh and let me know what your favourite thing was. I think my favourite is the scarf the Paul Smith scarf. That's probably my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite was and I will talk to you in my next one. Oh, and I'm doing Vlogmas. Did I mention that? Yeah, I'm doing Vlogmas. If you didn't already know. Bye.